guys, Wild Trekker here, and welcome to a, a new episode here in our creative series. And you're finding us here at Wild Labs. Um, yeah, basically we've set up a new base. You may remember from my last few tutorial videos, um, we had our lab. Well, I've basically extended it, so I thought I'd start off this, this sort of tour with a bit of an introduction. So uh, let's take a look around. So you can see we're in a brand new world and we've got wild labs here and it's it's a creative world um, and you can see we've got a lovely building overlooking this beautiful view here so um yeah but let's go uh, let's go and have a look around and show you around shall we so uh, come through the entrance and hopefully we'll have some guests on here as well so it's not just going to be about creative so we've got our reception this is where our receptionist will be. Uh, but let's just go up here first of all, because I thought, well, if we invite some guests on, perhaps we'll do a little bit of interviewing. Um, so we've got our very own TV studio. So we can sit the camera on there. There's our audience. And um, yeah, so uh, might get some guest people on here, have a chat, have a bit of natter about Minecraft stuff. So that might be for the future. Um, but let's go downstairs because that's where all the fun stuff happens down in the lab so uh, we go through reception and basically behind these lift doors down the lift push and here's the lab or at least the start of the lab so I've got a place to put things people will put their inventory if they come down here and um, we've got my office here so uh, yeah have my desk. I did have a minecart here, but the new snapshot seems to play uh, funny things with those. So, uh, yeah, there's my desk. So uh, that's all good. And and then where the magic's going to happen is through here. So it's all the sort of new stuff tutorials and that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be good doing through those doors and we're going to just expand it as we go along. But the first one I want to show you, um, I'm actually going to take you outside because um, it's basically we're going to look at the hidden piston doors, uh, the classic Jeb doors, as some would call it. If you've been watching my Zanecraft server uh, episode, you'll see uh, myself and Reese had great fun on there doing that. So I thought it'd be quite good fun just to try and condense that down into a quick, easy tutorial. So if you want to follow how to do that, um, I'll have it on there. So uh, yeah, I'll see you outside. Okay, so here we are outside uh, and I've basically found a blank wall where we're actually going to put our hidden doors. Um, so it's fairly simple to do. Uh, what we're going to do first of all is basically clear out an area where we can um, basically put these doors. So I'm just going to clear out a bit of a big area area shall we say so we can get this built and kind of show you what uh, what we're going to be doing and how we're going to put these in um, and you can always put blocks back but you kind of need the room to to be able to do this kind of stuff so we'll just make that room and then once we've got it we can kind of fill around it so just make sure you've got plenty of space as we do this so um, what I want is basically let's say here and here is going to be our entrance into it now I'm just going to use pressure plates because it just makes it nice and simple however um, with anything with redstone you know as long as you've got something to trigger it you could have a hidden block somewhere of a switch and you know that could work it that could be hidden behind a tree or something like that so you could do whatever you like with this really so um, but we're going to have pressure plates which are actually going to trigger this and it's going to open up these doors so first of all what we want is some sticky pistons and we're going to put these either side like this and going to put those on the other side as well and we need six sticky pistons in total because what we're actually going to do is these pistons are going to move out so whatever blocks are here are going to move into this position however this particular block is going to be a sticky piston so it's going to throw out the sticky piston and it's also going to throw out this block so effectively what it's going to do is these side pistons are going to move these pistons and blocks to there and then the back pistons is going to push these blocks forward to there and that's going to hide it so and then we're just going to literally cover that up 
with stone so you won't actually see it so that's the idea basically um, so that's what we're going to do I'm just going to make this a bit bigger at the back and I'll tell you what I'll do um, I'll get some light in here as well just so you can uh, see what I'm doing here so that would help really wouldn't it and why can't I find torches let's have a look torch um, don't spell it like that for starters that would probably help okay so let's just throw up some torches so you guys can see what's going on probably move those around again in a minute okay so I'm just going to clear out another bit at the back here so we've got those um, pistons in place as you can see it's just making that simple shape there so I'm just going to remove these at the moment so you can see what's happening because they're just cosmetic and we'll put those back in at the end so the next thing to do is actually put blocks on top of these in this kind of shape so it's kind of a on top of the pistons and then bring them along because basically I'll have to take out another layer so I can get around to the top this is going to be where the redstone happens okay so the redstone is hidden at the top out of the way and it's very simple redstone and I knew I'd forget something there we go so basically we're going to have redstone redstone at the end we don't need it there because what we're actually going to do is we're going to get a couple of repeaters and they're going to set one there um, or is that going to go that way? And yeah, that's right. One that way. And we'll put them on one tick each. Okay, and that's quite important in terms of doing all this. Now, the way to check if this works is to get a lever, stick it on here, and fire it. And there you go. You can see it all in action. Okay, so that's literally what it's going to do. And then, quite literally, if we've, you imagine we've got all that sealed up. Yeah, you can imagine that that's uh, basically a hidden wall. And then uh, whenever we stand on the pressure plates, they disappear and you can walk through. OK, and that's the idea. So very, very simple, uh, simple mechanism. So let's just go back inside. We'll get rid of that lever because that is purely and I'll do it from up here, otherwise I'm going to get crushed. Uh, that's purely just to show it working, um, because we need to test it working, basically. So the other thing is, we need this to be on all the time. Um, otherwise, it's not going to physically work. At the moment, the redstone's not on. And as you can see, the doors are open. And that would be useless for pressure plates, because, after all, pressure plates activate when they're actually stood on so what we need to do is basically send a redstone signal to it so I'm going to basically bring this out okay put some redstone on here I'm going to put in a repeater here and you can see you need a lot of room to actually set all this up in the first place but once it's set up um, it's no problem so I'm going to put a repeater that way with one tick because that's sending the signal that way let's just clear that out because that's as far as I want it to go so um, let's remove that and we'll, again we're putting redstone at the top and then we're going to power that with this torch and there you go so the doors are closed and if we go outside you can see it's completely sealed okay that's how we want it so the next thing is we need to be running the redstone through to pressure plates so the other thing I'm going to do is actually put pressure plates on this side okay because we want it to work that way as well yeah so um, that's going to be very very simple for these we're going to run the redstone from there and along very easy um, and then what we need to do is actually get beneath this as well I'm trying to think how many I need here so let's just go along this way uh, I probably should have been outside so let's uh, go back down just so I know where I'm building okay so I'm just going to literally break this down so I can see because what I need to do is basically get redstone on these two bits there okay so basically the 
pressure plates is on the stone and then when you stand on the pressure plate that will activate this redstone here. Okay, so I'm just going to put those back there. It's just so I can see from the other side now where... Right, let's, oop, let's go through. Okay, and back down again. So let's have a look. And there we go. So there you can see that redstone. Okay, so simply all I'm going to do is run that redstone circuit this way here all the way back and then that's also going to run up here okay it's going to join that circuit there essentially so and also it's going to run up there okay now obviously this is set like this at the moment you can change it around as much as you like to make it work because you obviously want to for example you might not do that you might put that out of the way bring it up there and bring it down that way because then you can hide this redstone behind doors and what have you so it's um yeah now that's obviously not firing there for some reason why is that not firing Okay, I've done something not quite right there. Right, it's working there. So obviously it's a way that that's interacting there. Okay. One second, I'll be right back. Okay, worked out what I did wrong. And basically, what I should have done is brought that down there. Yeah, that works. And then we're doing the same on this side. So basically bring that there. Probably don't need that then, do we? There we go. Yeah, so basically I dropped those down there, which made the whole connection work. So if we stand on these now, that works. And there's the doors closed. Stand on them. Excellent. And they work. And what we're able to do then, because we've done that, you can obviously then cosmetically hide all this up. You can hide these doors from anybody coming in. Likewise. Um, and then, you know, sort of again, you can sort of, if you want to push this back a little further, if you want to bring the walls along here and hide it uh, in that way. Um, so, yeah, it's probably better one 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 back further, shall we say. So we'll uh, let's just do that now so you can see. So put the torch on there, one further back. That means we can do that. We can break that, join it up again, bring that down there. So it still works exactly the same way. That opens it. But what it means is we can actually put some stone here, okay, and hide it. So now when we go over this side, that's all nicely hidden. Nothing's going to break here when we put a stone there and a stone there. Likewise, put one there, one there. So there we go. We'll build that up. Make our little tunnel just to show you that we can in totally encase ourselves in here now. Didn't want to do that. I haven't broken anything. Nope. Put a torch in here just so we can see. There we go. And that works. And again, we can just hide at the top as well because that's just going to hide up all the redstone then. But it's very, very simple redstone. It doesn't take very much at all. It's just a matter of getting ores all in the right places. Um, very simple concept. And personally, I think even from there, it's very hard to actually see the fact there's some doors there. But you could, in your own creative world, hide a switch for those even more. And then you're inside. So it's double working doors, which I think work really well. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that very, very quick tutorial. Um, very simple to do so uh, if you have leave a comment below do click on like and if you haven't already subscribe my name is Wild Trekker and thanks for watching bye for now bye 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 bye